Um, it's very windy today, so I'm trying to talk very close to the camera. Hopefully, there won't be too much wind interference. Um, what we've got here is that Viking I mentioned. It is missing a spark plug. Just got a new one to put in it. Um, and that has been off. So. smells petrol but I think that it's probably got water in there so I'm going to take all that off clean it all out um, and that's about all to say about it really I don't think it's going to be a too bad a fix um, so yeah I'll, um, I'll whip that off give that a clean out fit a new um, diaphragm in that and then we'll see if it's good and... go on again yeah um, I don't know whether you could see that but I could see it had spark um, I could have sprayed some um, carb cleaner in it to see if it fired up to see if it had a spark but as the plug was already out I thought I'd do it like this so let's get this um, little carb off um, the impact I think I've got the right size sockets oh uh, yeah that's okay If you saw how quick that was to get off, you've probably seen it on many other videos because this repair is done a lot. And actually, I'm going to show you how to fit a diaphragm and gasket in this. Um, I did say to a few people I wouldn't show one of these videos, but I think perhaps every lawnmower repair related channel should have one of them videos. So um, I'm just going to clean up around there a little bit. It's not too bad, it's quite clean. And I'm going to do that. It'll so make the most of it will be the only one I do on here because there is hundreds if not thousands of these type of videos for repairing a, uh, replacing a diaphragm and gasket on a Briggs and Stratton classic engine but there's one little thing I do different um, than most do so you might get something out of that we'll see so let's get this carb apart um, my hand will be in the way a little bit but all it is is uh, the five screws, like I said, as in rock and oh, slip there. It isn't rocket science. It's the most simplest mower job you can really do. Um, unfortunately, I suppose I'm adding to it. That it's been shown too many times, so people to do it, you'd ruin it for the repair guys and that, I suppose. So um, some will say that's good. Someone say it, that's not quite so good, but um, whatever. Some people will still be a bit worried about doing it. Um, it looks all right in there. It's just a bit wet and watery in there. Uh, the diaphragm doesn't look too bad, but I shall put a new one on it. I always do that matter of course anyway. Every mower like this I ever get, and if I sell it or keep it or whatever, I put a new gasket diaphragm in it. I don't see it's worth, especially if you're selling it, it's not worth the hassle of one. Someone come back saying it's not running right. But I don't think this mower's very old. I don't think it's done a lot of a lot of work at all. To be honest, the gasket in is probably better quality than the one I'm put gonna put in it. But at the moment, I'm gonna put a new one in it. If so, um, you can see there, just neat water in there. No bit there. See, so I'll drain the whole tank down now. You don't really need to see that, but I suppose if I can find a pot, you can see it. And we have the trusty old aluminium tin. Great tin. I've had this for years. I don't even know where it comes from. Um, I think probably we um, inherited from my nan. We lived with my nan for a while before she. Um, this was many years ago. She's she's long gone now. Um, but we. Um, yeah, lived with her for a little while and then she moved into a sheltered accommodation place and we kept the house she was renting. So um, I had quite a few bits and pieces from her. I think this pet, uh, she had a chicken once. I think it's probably the pot that was um, used for that. But anyway, you can see there, I mean, now well you can see the bubbles in there. There's plenty of water bubbles in there. So we'll just get it all drained out. I'll put a compressor on in a minute to blow it all out. The carbs, carbs clean to be fair, it's just the water and that in there. Don't make them easy to empty though. But, 
Tom's got a chainsaw going next door. He's been doing some building work, so uh, a bit of noise going on around here suits me fine because my my mowers and things make noise, so um, we can all muddle in together making our noise at the weekends. <laughs> um, long may it continue. You see a big water bubble there. There in the middle, a big water bubble there. So I think that's about all I'm going to get out now. Off camera, what I'll do is just blow through and everything and use some carb cleaner and get it all as clean as I can get it. Then we'll get the new gasket and diaphragm on. So bear with us and I'll be back in a little while. So now we have the carb here. The, the tank has actually been blown, blown out and it's clean. I just sprayed some carb cleaner in it. Just, just close the door, the wing's still up quite a lot and I'm a light short at the moment there we go that'll be better um so yeah what I've done now I've took that out that pushes into into there so I pulled that out I should have shown you that let me getting that out but I'm going to blow that through with the okay I'll do that while you see it can get blocked to be honest, I've never seen many of them blocked, but they can get blocked. And then just give a quick um, spray out with the airline, pull the light off a bit. So we'll just tuck that out of the way. There for a moment, I should have a bit of a paper towel really down to do it. But then all I'm gonna do with the carb is, actually I'll get some paper towel. I've actually bought six rolls of this lately, which is really handy. And then I'll um, just give the carb a general, well that can come off too. And get it off. I need a little gentle persuasion. Took hundreds of them off. I've always slipped off no hassle. Doing a video is not the case. Got that off now, that um, little piece. So, I've let the airline build up in there to turn the pressure down a bit. But. Then just basically the carb itself, just give it a spray down. Can be over fussy. See there's water in there though. Prime is alright, since you weren't alright, give it a spray in the top, that's where because the air filter cap's been off it, so blow it off into. Useless gloves at the moment, they're not the usual ones I use and they're not very good. You must always wear gloves really, don't want to get oil and the rubbish on your hands. You get sort of get carried away, they break up and you carry on going. But now that that's almost there, I'll give it one more. And I'll be back in a minute. 
Um, some of you might have noticed when I was cleaning out that little piece, uh, if you bit of a Hawkeye, you'd have seen I broke that. So I have actually got another one. So there we go. That can go back on to... I've squashed it now. So yeah, that can go back on. I squashed it last time, so just be a bit careful to sort of ease it, ease it on. It's about to the limit now. That's all okay. Um, we've got that little um, pipe to go back on. Remember where it goes it goes in you hear a sort of click in place so you know it's in there tight so that is actually that all done now so we have got the new gasket one I've had all right success with these the CTS ones I tried to find them lately but I can find them um, on, on eBay so um, I had to buy some different ones but at the moment I'll use the last one I've got of this just cut the packaging just make sure when you cut the packaging you don't cut the gasket and look actually the package has been folded but luckily it didn't interfere with the with the gasket so it's made in China like a lot of stuff is now so we'll put that out of the way and what I do now is the one problem I have had with these gaskets not many people tell you and they might not have the problem but I've had them, so I've done it all, and then they leak. So there's nothing more frustrating than that. The ones that didn't leak, are the genuine ones, they were actually better, but I've even had them leak. Let me get you around a bit better. Um, so what, I'm, what I do, if it's good, or if I've got one out of another one, I save the old gasket, and I put two gaskets on it. And that seems to do the trick, so. I do it like that, gasket goes, that goes on first, whatever way it goes round, I always get a bit confused with this bit, I think we're right there, but I want the new gasket the other way around, so we put that, and I've still got it wrong, <laughs> this is all live, so at least you're seeing it live, there we go, we've got it right now. So yeah, that's right. Then goes the diaphragm, which goes on like so. So we're all there then. The spring, and make sure the spring's in, which you can see it clearly in there. So now we've got the tank. What I mainly do usually do now is I sort of try to hold it up, then place the screws in their holes but it's a little bit harder today for some reason yeah I think I'm gonna go the other approach I think I'm just gonna put it on the tank then locate them sometimes I do them and then you can sort of wiggle the screws in and it works out much better but for some reason today that was a bit awkward um, I want to do it live so you can sort of see how how to do it Rather than keep cutting it and making it look like everything goes perfect all the time. Shouldn't go too shouldn't go too far wrong with one of these, but you can get things wrong. I'm gonna just screw it back on by um by hand with this one because uh, with the impact is a bit it's a bit will be a bit harsh on it I think so hope you can see okay don't do them up tight for a start just sort of nip them down get them down to the left handed so you can see and I'm right handed so there we go getting just fine at the moment I do tend to do them up quite tight some people say you don't need to do them up that tight but I 
do actually tend to do them quite tight and that's just the way I do it and that seems to work. The only problem I've had, like I said in the past, is a leak but on here, um, do them just keep working your way diagonally across from one side to the other and then so it's sort of um, nipping down evenly. Getting there now. That one tends to get forgot about because that isn't there's one sort of in the middle, so let's I'm happy with that one. I will just happy with that one. Happy with that one. That one's okay, and we'll get back to the middle one. Just nip through them all one small time. One, two, three. Five. That's all done now. So we've got the cap. I'll put the cap back on for the moment. I've got a bit of fuel in it when I get back on the mower, but just so it's all round. Uh, a little bit where I've blown it out there, just wire around, just to make sure that O-ring and everything's all the way are we? All the O-ring and everything's in place. Just give it a wipe around. Just think. Some of they clip out a little bit when you get the that one had a little bit. Some of they come out totally when you take the car off, but on this one it hadn't. We've got a little rub of it that goes to the to like the breather and then we've got that that goes on top of there so the sort of gasket between the air filter so now we have got one reconditioned friction strain classic carb and i have done an in-depth video of one but like i said this is shown many times i have, I have little jokes about it i won't be showing you one of these again I have a mother close problem I'll just refer you back to the the Viking mower video um, because it seems to be when people can't think of a video to do they do one of these anyway so I'll leave there at the moment um, and I'll show you it going back on the mower
um, you can see now how quick it was to get it all back together and one thing I probably should have checked before I um, put the air filter cover on is that it was priming okay but I'll be able to feel that um, I've done enough of them to feel that but you might just want to keep that on just to see it pushing fuel through to the engine if it is any problem I should just take that off and look and check when it starts now I should can get some and get some fuel and then we'll um, see if it starts quite bad it's been tipped on its side but it is starting to clear now so I'll let that clear a bit you hear the rattling a little bit that's because of that only because of the handlebars not tight there I can't quite tighten it but you see it's easing off now the smoke and it's running quite well to be honest probably running a little bit fast we'll give it a few minutes and then I'll stop it and um, I'll lower it one more and then just trim my bit of grass. you've seen there um, it's cut the grass okay it's it doesn't really get really low you know my grass can be cut just a little bit lower than that but it sort of cuts okay the blade needs sharpening on this um, but I decide what I'm gonna do with it first I keep it it'll be okay um, the blade will be okay but um, if I sell it obviously I'll service it the oil is crystal clear anyway that is and it's got a new plug in it I didn't change the air filter for the one reason is it wasn't too dirty anyway and sometimes when these do smoke when they start 
you know can kick a bit of oil back into it to um, make it to make it oily the, I don't want to put a new one in and get it oily straight away so it's always wise to run them up first um, if they've been sitting around for a while just so you haven't got a and you don't mess up and oil up a new filter but to be honest it's only a cheapie um, but it seems to be all right and I think the smoking sort of stopped now um, it, I always find they take a few times it's sort of best to let them get warm then let, let them sit up for a little while and it sort of burns it off itself in there and then um, I've seen them smoking for a long time after they've stopped when they've been used so I don't think that's much of a problem it was just like a little quick repair on that one hope you enjoyed the video of it um, and I'll just decide what I want to do with it now it's been kicking around outside my shed for a while and I was getting a bit annoyed with it there so um, I thought I'd just quickly do the job on it and it's actually what I thought it was just water in it really so yeah so thanks for watching I hope you've got something out of this video and um, I'll be along with another video again soon.